so after seeing so many beautiful pink cushions here on YouTube and watching Natasha who is my Nashka on YouTube make a beautiful cake pink cushion and I think just after Christmas Lily made the uh, what did she call it uh, the mother of all stick pin cushions <laughs> Um, it was like a big Taj Mahal or something like that. It was huge, absolutely gorgeous. And let me show you what I've been using for my pins and stick pins because I don't actually have many. This, look, it's not even connected to anything. I just stick everything in there and it rolls around and drives me crazy. So yesterday I thought, okay, it was Easter day. It, there was a bit of a, a lull in the day. My elder sons were yet to arrive and my younger children were sort of, you know, um, having a rest from chocolate and running around. So um, I thought I'll sneak away and see what I can come up with. And I decided I would make a castle, a castle pin cushion for my stick pins. Because I've been sent a few pin, stick pins. I don't have many at all that I've made myself. Um, but I have been sent some so this is what I've come up with and I just made this out of two toilet rolls and a Milo bar box I left the bottom undecorated so I could show you what I mean it's one of those um, energy bars can you see that okay that's an energy bar box and what I I did was just cut it in not half, but I cut this part would have been turned around and up here. I cut it across the middle and placed it down there because it was nice and narrow. And that's what I wanted because see, they're only narrow across that way. And these are the toilet rolls on either end. I just added a little bit of grunge board to the top part here and um, gessoed it and put a little bit of sparkle over it. All the lace on this is from Mad About Scrappin' and also these pink sparkles and these, um, what are these called? These sprays, pearl sprays and the flowers which were actually pink but I've sort of, I ran out of white flowers so I gessoed those and these green tara leaves are really pretty, they're velvet. Um, they're from Mad About Scrapping also. This lovely black trim down the bottom is my bling mesh that Hazel sent me, along with these little decorative pieces here. They're the um, cutouts she sent me also, which was really nice. Inside, I just filled the bottom with a little bit of polystyrene kind of foamy stuff, and then I put some uh, wadding over the top of that and covered it in some wedding gown satin there to make it nice and cushiony and I did the same for the top but of course I, I put more of the harder foam inside there and with the toilet rolls I put the foam I just cut a stick and put it down that way and made little cushions for the inside there but of course you have to be careful with that um, that foam box stuff because if you use a certain type of glue on it it will actually melt so what I did underneath was I I put this other stuff and glued that in and then just to hold it there uh, so it's just this wrapping stuff I put that there piece of cardstock over the top and then I slotted the um, I slotted the the foam stuff on top of that and then I glued the little cushion on top of that so it's nice and secure inside. I hope that makes sense. It's a little bit hard to um, describe what I actually did. Sorry, one of those stick pins that I'd had in there wasn't quite dry so I just removed it. Okay, so that's what I've done. It's really quite simple. Just the front here I've cut a shape of a gate and put a little bit of trim around it and I had this buckle off a belt that I got from a thrift store quite some time ago 
and it always reminded me of like a church window or something like that so I've popped that on there for the door and I really like the effect that gives I put this spray in the corner mainly just to hide the join a little bit and at the back I've actually with this instead of going in and back out I've just wrapped it straight around just to give it a little bit more strength because although they are glued onto the side there quite securely it just adds that little bit extra strength that it's wrapped all around and so they uh, I'm trying to remember now who sent me these stick pins. These ones up the top are from Kimmy and that tiny one is from Sarah. These two here are from Kerry. Thank you Kerry. These ones down here are from, ones are from Judy. Oh boy, I hope I got that right. That's why I've sectioned them off here. The two purple ones are two that I've made. I made them for a swap I was just in. We had to add a, um, a stick pin to the Tussie Mussies we made. So I did those. Um, and Hazel sent me those beautiful purple beads there. Thank you, Hazel. And these ones over here I've just finished making. And they, hopefully they don't, those ones are dry, one wasn't. Um, they're actually for a giveaway I'm having on my blog at the end of the week with a few other bits and pieces. So there we go. I have finally made a pin cushion and I'm very happy with it. I think it's very pretty and Princess Castle-ish. <laughs> I hope you like my pin cushion. <laughs> Thank you for joining me today. Bye-bye.